yes three types of inertia yes bolo inertia of rest inertia of and inertia of direction inertia of rest means the object will have a tendency to be at rest inertia of motion is that the tendency of the object is to continue to be in state of a motion and inertia of direction is that an object will have a tendency to continue to move in a particular direction wherever whatever direction a particle is moving will have tendency to move along, along that direction only so first part inertia of rest it is the inability of a body to change by itself its state of a rest inertia of rest means in ability of a body to change by itself state of a rest that means the object at rest will continue to be at a rest another statement for the same examples example number 1 suppose we are standing in a stationary bus person is standing in a bus at a rest so this is a vehicle person is at rest when the bus starts suddenly what happens when the bus starts suddenly the person the foot is in contact with the floor so this will also move but the body tries to be at a rest that is why the person had has tendency to fall backwards that means if it starts suddenly when the person will fall backwards this is one two place a coin on a smooth cardboard experiment is take a glass or a jar place a cardboard on the same place an object here object any object a hit this platform or cardboard with a jerk and the observation is after some time what you observe is the cardboard is in this position and where is the object a initial position and object a falls why because object a has tendency to be at a rest but it has moved downward what is the reason gravity it is because of a gravity in case there is no gravity you remove this cardboard then the object will continue to be here only so its motion in the vertical direction is because of some external agency force but it is not moving in the horizontal direction why because the object has tendency to remain at a rest 2 3 when we shake a branch of mango trees the mangoes fall down example number 3 a tree any object apple mango whatever if you shake it say shake this part then this object has tendency mango has tendency to remain at a rest but this is set in motion so there is a impulse jerk acting at this point and this point and this point get a detached it will break from a particular point because the mango has tendency to be at a rest time with you is 2 minutes to write inertia of rest 2 minutes to write inertia of rest inertia of 
ये सेकेंड पार्ट इनर्शिया ऑफ मोशन इनबिलिटी ऑफ अ बॉडी टू चेंज बाई इट सेल्फ स्टेट ऑफ मोशन दैट टू यू कैन से यूनिफॉर्म मोशन एग्जाम्पल्स एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन इफ देर इज अ पर्सन स्टैंडिंग इन अ मूविंग बस बस इज मूविंग एट सर्टन स्पीड पर्सन इज स्टैंडिंग इन अ बस मूविंग एट से एनी स्पीड सिक्सटी किलोमीटर पर आर एनी वैल्यू सो द बस इज मूविंग एट सिक्सटी किलोमीटर पर आर पर्सन इज ऑल्सो मूविंग एट सिक्सटी किलोमीटर पर आर वेन यू अप्लाई ब्रेक्स ब्रेक्स आर अटैच यू कैन से विद द बस नॉट विद द पर्सन वेन द ड्राइवर अप्लाइज द ब्रेक्स द व्हीकल स्पीड रिड्यूसेज से सडनली टू जीरो so that means the foot comes to zero speed say after coming covering covering sorry covering some distance but this body continues to move with the same speed so it is this arrangement that person in a bus bus is moving when you apply brakes suddenly when you suddenly apply brakes the upper part of the body continues to move at 60 km per hour and the foot comes to rest so the person falls in the forward direction this is one example two example number two same when a horse at full gallop stops suddenly so in this scenario again it is first case is bus second case it is horse horse in full gallop person is on the horse both are moving at say some speed say 30 km per hour and the horse stops suddenly horse comes to rest and the person continues to move with the same speed so the person will fall forward three a person jumping out of speeding train may fall forward reason is yes person example number 3 is person jumping out of speeding train so train is moving at 60 km per hour person inside is also moving at 60 km per hour the person jumps out the moment person jumps out the foot is in contact with the floor so it has a tendency to come to speed zero but the upper part of the body continues to move with the same speed so what is the right procedure for that if you have to leave a moving object initially gain some speed and try to minimize the difference between the bus and your body ideal condition bus is at 60 when you leave move at a speed and attain a speed of 60 km per hour so bus is at 60 you are also at 60 you leave after that you slow down your speed with the time 60 50 40 30 20 10 then the chances that you will fall are minimum time with you is 2 minutes inertia of motion 2 minutes C part is what inertia of a direction. It is the inability of a body to change by itself its direction of motion. That means if an object is moving in a particular direction, it will continue to move in that direction only. Examples.
example number one is what principle of a umbrella so rain drops are falling downwards there is a person so in order to protect the design of the umbrella is say this one this is how you design the umbrella with an assumption that the rain drops will continue to move in that direction will hit it and then move this way this is and there is a screening effect or you can say protection or shadow to the person this is how an umbrella works and the violation is you can say in case suppose the raindrop has ability suppose it has ability to change its direction at its own and then it is of a no use so umbrella is a device designed with this effect or inertia of direction of a raindrop that it is likely to move in particular direction it cannot change its direction of motion at its own one two when a car rounds a curve suddenly second example is there is a roundabout a car top view it is birds view or helicopter view and what you find is a person inside when the car takes a turn because the steering is with the car not with the person this is the new position after some time of the car the person has tendency to move in the same direction so where is the person p now inside the car or outside the car outside the car and the person experiences as if some force has pushed the person out actually it is not this is a pseudo force it appears it gives a feeling to the person as if someone or some force has pushed the person out actually it is not an object in motion will continue to have tendency of motion in that particular direction it was a car it was a vehicle in which the person was traveling has shifted itself that is why the person moves out this is example number 2 example number 3 yes anyone who can explain it example number 3 anyone who can explain example number 3 all of you have seen observe this phenomena what the phenomena is yes in order to sharpen a knife a scissor you have a wheel agreed so there is a wheel in motion you place a knife or a scissor so sometime you ro rotate it by a machine or by pedaling that is a cycle when you place the knife here this sparks they fly tangentially normal to that even the working of the mud guard of a cycle is also based on the same for a cycle when you pass through mud the cycle the wheel takes the mud and will throw it tangentially sometime that may throw it to a height and may catch you that is why the principle of mud guard mud guard on a cycle wheel is to protect the body from mud because whenever the object will leave the circle it will fly in which direction tangentially this direction is tangent tangent direction tangentially time with you is 3 minutes to write 3 minutes to write 